The following supplies are the materials necessary for this next project. So what you're going to be needing from the Dollar Tree are one of these box decor signage that say thankful and these are the ones with the black and white buffalo check. You're also going to be using some of these pumpkin clips and these just have a little metal alligator clasp on the back. We're also going to be using some of these metal buckets and these you can find in the wedding decor section. They come three to a pack and we're going to be needing four for this project. We're also going to be utilizing some of these Jot Brand Alpha sticker letters as well. And some glue. I'm not sure whether we're going to be utilizing the Eileen's Tacky Glue or the Fix All Adhesive. I will play that one by ear. We're also going to be using some of this black acrylic paint and a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, a black Sharpie marker, as well as a white oil-based marker, some popsicle sticks, and some of these do-it-yourself uh, pumpkin and leaf uh, adhesives. So if you want to see how all these items come together, all you have to do is stick around. So to begin with, we're going to start by grabbing one of our metal pails and the black Sharpie marker and we're going to be filling in around the lip of the tin and filling it in as such. And what we're trying to achieve here by doing this is to give it sort of a worn enamel look and that's the look that we're trying to go for here. So we're going to continue doing this to all of the four buckets. And this is what you should be left with once you have all four of your pails done. And I suppose I could have stopped at just the front because that's the only side you're going to be seeing. But I chose to go all the way around. And I also made some little chips and imperfections on some of the tins to make it look more natural. From there, I'm going to grab two popsicle sticks and I'm just going to cut one of my popsicle sticks at a V to make sort of an arrow point and the other popsicle stick I'm going to cut straight across. And this is what you should be left with once you cut that point out in the front and you duck tail the bottom like an arrow and then I'm going to be adhering it to the bottom stake. And so this is going to be a sign. And but before we jump to that step, we're going to take some of this acrylic paint and give them both a nice coating. So now it's just a matter of getting the paint on and I'm not even going to worry about getting it on perfectly because we're going to be doing another step to it. And this paint does dry a lot darker than it appears. Next up, while our popsicle sticks are drying, I'm going to be grabbing one of these do-it-yourself self-adhesive pumpkins and I'm going to be giving it a coat of white paint as such and allowing it to dry as well. Next up, while I'm allowing my little pumpkin to dry here, I'm just going to take the same brush that I use with that white paint and I'm never dipping it back into the paint. I'm just kind of cleaning it out and depositing what's left on the brush onto my popsicle sticks and giving it sort of a dry brush look. From there, before I can assemble my sign, I'm going to need it to be on a flat surface. So I'm going to be using this oil-based white marker and I'm going to be freehanding my signage and what I'm going to write on it before I could move on to the next step, which would be assembling my sign together. So here I'm going to be spelling out the words hand-picked as you see. From there, I'm going to be taking my black Sharpie marker and I'm going to grab my little white pumpkin that I painted and I'm going to be writing out 50 cents a pound as you see me doing here as well. So now all that's left to do is to adhere our signage and so I decided that I'm going to be using this fix all adhesive and so all we have to do is add a little dab of that fix all adhesive to the popsicle stick and adhere them to each other. So I decided that I want to kind of place it at an angle so that the uh, arrow is pointing down if you will. From there, I'm going to be adding our little pumpkin as well. And these pumpkins have a little adhesive tab in the back. But as you see here, I'm adding a little bit of that fix all adhesive as well, just for some extra added security. And I'm going to be placing it right underneath that sign. 
Now it's time to add our alpha letter sticker adhesives. And so I'm going to be spelling out the word farm. And I'm going to use the little um, lines under the brim as my guide. And I'm going to try to center it as best as I can. But I'm not going to press it down to seal it completely just in case it needs adjustment. So now that I'm happy with the placement of the letters, I can now go on ahead and press them down firmly to secure the letters. And feel free to add a layer of Mod Podge on top of the letters to seal them in, but I'm going to opt out of that one at this time just in case I want to switch my decor out seasonally. So I'm going to be leaving them as such. Next up, we're going to be securing our little makeshift signage that we made to this little wall decor um, plaque. So I'm showing you here that inside this little box decor, it has these little corner brackets to secure the box decor intact. And so that's what I'm going to be using to glue my sign onto to give it some elevation. So once the placement of the sign is determined, you can now add on your glue so that you can uh, place it where it's going to be displayed. And you're going to have to hold it in place for about 10 to 15 seconds so that the glue bonds. So here's what you should be left with now that your sign is dry. And I love the contrast of the buffalo check pattern against that um, whitewash little signage. And so now it's just a matter of placing in our little uh, metal pails. We're going to place them inside the little box decor. And then we're going to add our pumpkins. So now we're ready to display our pumpkins and so all that's to it is to do it and I'm not going to be removing these little alligator clips. I'm going to keep them in so that way I can repurpose them in another craft and no one will ever know that those little clips are under there anyway unless they purposefully remove the pumpkins from the pail and flip them over. So once you displayed all your pumpkins inside each little pail, that's it for this project guys. We're done. And so this was so much fun to put together. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is something that was so quick and easy to put together using 100% all Dollar Tree materials. This way you too can also do it as well using Dollar Tree items. And should you decide to recreate and put your own spin on it, I hope that you'll tag me on my Instagram, which is the same name as this channel, Dollar Deluxe Diva.